If you saw last week's video of top three faults that occur at a traffic signal, you saw that one of those faults that I described was the red fail. However, after being called out by Metal Bill and Mono Revolver, I need to retract my entire red fail presentation. We'll pretend those are those two heads. So we're gonna use the greens as the example here. If I pull one green out, So this is going to simulate like a loss that maybe the wire was cut or had become disconnected. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. As I previously stated, a red fail is a loss of a directional movement of all your greens, all your yellows, or all your reds. However, what I fail to point out is the loss of signal is going to occur inside the actual traffic signal cabinet and not anything out in the traffic signal intersection. You blew it! So here's a super quick revised presentation of that red fail. Just to show you everything in the cabinet that causes this red fail fault. Here we go, phase four, southbound movement. I'm gonna show you right here what causes these red fails. Load switch. A flash transfer relay. The output of a controller. The flash transfer relay wiring output to the field terminals. And not this. However, I'm still standing by my declaration that a red fail fault is the worst description to describe a fault in the traffic signal industry. Now on to this week's video of advanced faults that could occur at a traffic signal. Now the advanced part is not so much the fault themselves, but more of the causes that could make these faults occur. Dark signal. Now a dark signal seems like a pretty straightforward problem. My first inclination is to think that the utility feed coming in has lost the power. And many times that's the case. However, there are other factors downstream that could cause that signal to go dark. And that involves looking into the cabinet. And the first thing I'm looking at is the main breaker, the main traffic signal breaker that provides power throughout the cabinet. So if I would trip this main 30 amp breaker, breaker you're gonna see this entire intersection go dark. All right, you're, you're, the main breaker trip there, that would be some kind of surge that may have happened and that's going to kill power throughout the entire cabinet which makes your signal go dark. Now a trip breaker is a pretty easy fix. Hopefully just putting it back into the on position will get you back and going again. But let's think of another advanced fault that may not be on top of your mind as the cause of a dark signal and that involves the flash circuit. Now remember there's two types of circuits that are running inside a cabinet. One is going to be the one running your colors and the second one's running your flash circuitry. If you would remove that flash circuit and your signal goes into a fault condition, that signal is gonna trip and go to look at the flash circuit. If that's not present, obviously your signal's gonna be dark. Now the flash circuitry has no bearing on a normally running signal. If it's running its colors, if I were to remove the circuitry, the flasher unit that controls that, that flash circuitry, nothing's gonna happen. And I'm gonna show you right here. So here's the flasher unit right over here. You see it's ping-ponging, it's flashed. If I were to remove that from the back panel, it's out, missing. Let's go back. Look at that signal there. It's still running its normal color. So the removal of that flasher unit does nothing. Now what happens with that removal of that flasher unit if we go into a fault condition? Well, let's see what happens. Let's just go ahead and pretend we're going to a fault. We're going to a flash condition. Tell you what, we're just going to go ahead and put this signal in flash. You see here we've got the... Tech panel here, there's a flash, normal flash. Let's go to the flash condition. So what's gonna happen here is the signal's going to revert to that flasher unit, which is no longer present. So let's do that. Okay, I went to the flash condition. However, look out here. The signal is now dark because there is no flasher to revert to. So if your flasher unit is bad, that could cause a dark signal. CVM fault.
Now, if you've been following my, my channel for any length of time, you've seen me out in the field in previous videos fixing CVM faults. If you haven't watched my videos, just to catch you up to speed, CVM stands for Control Voltage Monitor. Now, all that is is the conflict monitor monitoring the voltage monitor pin on the controller. And if you remember in the past, I said about 95% of the time, it's either going to be the conflict monitor or the controller that's causing that CVM fault. However, I'm going to show you the time when that 5% is causing the problem. Now, if I'm breaking out the cabinet prints here on the back panel, there is a voltage monitor pin. This is where the pins uh, comes to from the controller. And there is the conflict monitor, voltage monitor pin coming from the conflict monitor. And you can see there's a jumper right there that connects the two. Now, if I'm coming over here to that position on the back panel, there's that metal jumper right there that connects the two. I've had in the past where these terminals have not been tightened down fully and just over time, maybe due to a lot of truck traffic rattling the cabinet or the screws just weren't fully tight, that this thing, that these terminals here would back themselves out and cause this fault. So let's just go ahead and if I get that in there, back that out. And this one out. And there's our CVM fault. Replacing either one, the controller or the conflict monitor, is not going to fix this problem. It's coming back down here and tighten these screws to make sure that that connection point from there to there is working. All right, there you go. There's a few more potential faults you might see at a traffic signal. And if you're a traffic signal maintainer, hopefully this will help you out. And if it has, please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm gods figure out that they need to push my videos up a little bit higher, which in return helps me. Okay, that's all I got for this week. Thanks again, guys, for watching my videos. I'll see you next week.